March is Women's History Month, and that means not just celebrating the accomplishments of those who came before us, but also the women who are out there still making history every <laughs> single day. And on this day, our next guest, great example of that. She's the first woman to lead historic automaker Chrysler in its nearly 100-year history, and she is here with us now. Chris Fuel, ma'am, it is so good to have you with us. Thank you for being here. Congratulations. We're going to get into the history there, but hey, you're, you're in charge of a, of a business now that's seeing some, some changes, including a lot of consumers seeing prices of cars going up so much. So give us an idea. Is this going to continue uh, for a while, some of these prices that we are seeing for new and used cars? Well, good afternoon, TJ and Amy. And, and yes, we've seen prices go up over the course of the last year. A lot of that is tied to the supply chain challenges that we've been experiencing, and demand is just higher than supply right now. We're expecting a lot of those supply chain challenges to ease their way out towards the second half of this year and into next year. And so I think we'll see some of those prices settle into more normalized levels. Well, speaking of prices, Chris, uh, the pain at the pump right now, I think just about every American is feeling that and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. How much do you think these rising gas prices will help push American consumers toward the electric vehicles? Oh, it's going to have a huge impact. And we've been seeing a lot of both the transition toward hybrid electric, plug-in electric, and full battery electric taking place now. And as fuel prices continue to increase, I think the demand of those vehicles is going to continue. And as you've heard, Stellantis in, is investing over $33 billion in bringing new battery electric vehicles and advanced technology incorporated into our cars, trucks, and sport utilities to market. Now, you all want to go all electric? I believe, is it 2028? Are you on, are you on schedule to have an all electric lineup? We, we are, and when I joined the company just six months ago, that was a, a target that I felt was really important for Chrysler to make a stand on. So we are committed mm -hmm. to delivering a fully electrified product portfolio by 2028. We'll be launching our first full BEV vehicle in 2025. So you'll see a lot of brand new products coming from the Chrysler brand between now and 2028 all full electric. It's funny when we say 2028, it feels so futuristic right. and it's six years from now. Uh, I had to like be reminded of that as I was looking at this segment. Chris, we mentioned six months ago, you became the first female uh, to lead the Chrysler organization in its 96 year history. We all know that the automotive industry is, is not represented that much by women. I'm curious how you got your start and mm -hmm. what advice you have to other young women out there who are looking perhaps at a career in the automotive industry. Yeah, thanks for that, Amy. It's a really good question. I started my professional life in the auto industry at Ford Motor Company, and it gave me a, a really good um, training ground, not just in the automotive industry, but just in business as, as well. And those experiences in sales, marketing, and product management, and P&L leadership set me up really well for the role that I'm in right now, leading Chrysler. Um, there's so much about this industry that has changed over the course of the last few years. I think the culture of the industry has definitely evolved to be more collaborative, more flexible. And that was one of the reasons why I had left the industry before. The incorporation of all of these new technologies and more customer focused features and processes to make their ownership experience more pleasing is another reason why the industry is so exciting to be part of right now. I think if I were to give other women advice about how to pursue a career in the automotive industry, I, I would say if you've got a background in STEM education or experiences, this is the perfect industry for you. Um, at Stellantis, we have six women who are part of our executive leadership team and so many more who are leading significant functions and in P&L responsibilities. And that, of course, is a pathway to executive leadership. So setting yourself up for those kinds of roles is important to be able to progress. And then finally, you know, you have to be true to yourself and make sure that when you're looking for opportunities that you feel like you fit in the culture of that organization and that it's a good fit 
it for you and that you're able to you know, strive, be challenged, learn and contribute at a very high level, but you have to find that balance for yourself and for your family and have those interests outside of work that make you feel fulfilled. Incredible <laughs> advice, and I know so many young women look at someone like you and think if she can do it, I can do it, and that's a huge part of what we're talking about. Chrysler Brand CEO, Chris Fuel, thank you so much for being with us and congratulations on the position. Thank you so much for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.